Yes, that's right. Welcome to the 2.30 Report, where we review the very worst of late-night TV. And uh, this week, we're having a look at late-night Christian shows. Now, uh, Channel 10 runs this stuff at four in the morning, so they need something pretty full-on to get your attention. And I'll tell you what, the Lord certainly does provide. Everybody. Glory to God. It's the Believer's Voice of Victor Broadcast, and we are blessed today. Now, that is Ken Copeland, and if you think he's hokey, you should check out his daughter, Kelly. Ladies, when you're doing laundry, if you're grouchy about it, are you doing laundry in the love of God? Because when you do laundry in the love of God, you can get a harvest. <laughs> Now, you may find this hard to believe, but Kelly actually makes more sense than her dad and his mate. The word, the Hebrew word yeah. translated thing yeah. is word. Is word. Right. Every thing mm -hmm. came out of the word, or the word, you back to seed again. Uh -huh. Words are things, or they're word things. So when I say words... I just release a thing, but you don't see the thing when I say it. You heard the thing before you saw the thing, because when I said the thing, it's heard before it's seen. Makes sense to me. As, as Kelly says, I'm telling you, when those two get together, the anointing flows. Well, something is certainly flowing, but I don't know if it's anointing. Okay, all right. Maybe they are a little confusing, but at least these guys know their way around the Bible. Where is that? where Samuel was talking and and he talked to him about answer him Eli but one thing these Christian shows all have in common is that in the end they always hit you up for some cash now some do it in a pious spiritual way as a special challenge please prayerfully consider a gift of twelve hundred dollars or more but not everyone is as prayerfully considered as those guys are. The master of the grab for cash would have to be this guy, our favourite, Mike Murdoch. A lady came up to me one night and she said, my ex-husband has not paid child support in 15 years. I said, sow a seed for $58 just as a covenant between you and God. I'm not trying to buy a miracle, that's absurd. But give God a seed of your faith, $58. <laughs> money at all. It's about planting seeds. And I tell you what, planting a seed in Mike's bank account really pays off. Less than 30 days, that ex-husband wrote her a check and mailed it for $65,000. Whoa, that's amazing. Yeah. Surely you can't expect that to happen every time. Expect a harvest. <laughs> expect it. Mm. Expect it. <laughs> Maybe you can, yeah. Okay, so it seems like all you've got to do is give Mike 58 bucks and all kinds of miracles are going to happen. That sounds like crap to me. No, that's not. Look, he even gave an ironclad guarantee. If what I have said about sowing and reaping is just for Mike Murdoch's personal gain, may a curse be on me and my ministry, and may my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. See, the man is prepared to cleave his own tongue, Julian. That's good enough for me. So I sent off my $58 to Mike. But amazingly, no miracles. Who would have thought? But the good news is that Mike has come up with an even more foolproof way of prompting miracles. God spoke to me and said, tell them about the miracle of the thousand dollar seed. Sounds great. Uh, I tell you what, if you believe that, Chaz, I have just the man for you, Benny Hinn. Now, Benny is one of those faith healers, right? And he uses all kinds of very strange techniques to heal people. There he goes. Benny cures arthritis, mm -hmm. asthma, cancer, pretty much anything except tone deafness. No other name but the name of the singer. Singer! But, you know, what you really learn from Benny is that the cure to every known illness is pushing people over. Mm. Look at that. It really does work. I mean, in fact, thanks to Benny, we're now healers too. 